Making your own wardrobe is an attainable thing and it takes a lot of time, but I have really enjoyed the past couple weeks putting together some outfits and items of clothing that I can wear together and mix and match that reflect my style, my personality, what I like to wear, what I like to be comfortable in, and really just take the time every day to make something and enjoy the process of putting the spring wardrobe together. The irony is that it's cold and rainy, but it has been fun to have this space and even throughout the cold and the rain, look forward to the warmer weather, the blooming of the flowers that I'm already seeing spring up and the vibrant colors coming out through nature. And I think the juxtaposition of the weather and what I'm looking forward to is a really good reflection of life and makes me just really grateful to be able to enjoy the process while looking forward to the future. I wanted to ask you and hear your thoughts on sewing for yourself, if it's intimidating to you or if it's a place of respite. I know that I've heard from a lot of you that sewing for yourself is intimidating and I wanted to hear more about that. I think that sewing for an adult and especially if it's something you're sewing for yourself is really enjoyable and can teach you a lot about sewing because you can sew and then try it on and kind of see what you want to tweak and change uh, where you may want to add length or where you want to make something shorter so if you like to sew for yourself or if you haven't dove in yet i would love to hear about that this video is just a compilation of some things that i've made and right now i'm making the ada lounge set in this linen blend that I found at Joanne and I'm making it in two shorts so that I can wear it throughout the summer to farmers markets to the beach hopefully we'll get to go and just the warmer days where you need a lighter layer and something that feels put together but is super easy to wear that's why I love the Ada lounge set I think it's a great pattern to follow if you're just getting into sewing and you want to kind of branch into an item of clothing that you've never done before. I love the pockets on the shorts and the fit of the shirt is really fun too. So I don't make all of my clothes but I do try to make sure that the clothes that I have fit well and are comfortable. So I found these jeans and I really love the fit of them but they're a little too long which is a common problem for me since I'm a little shorter. So I hemmed them and if you're wanting to hem jeans with the original hem, this is a great way to do it. First you want to try on your jeans and mark with a pin where you want the bottom of the jeans to be. Then divide this number in half and measure the cuff from the finished hem to the edge of the jeans. Using a zipper foot on your machine or you can also hand stitch this Stitch along the edge of the finished hem. Turn this right side out and iron. You can give it a top stitch with some coordinating thread and you can also remove the interior bulk by trimming it down with scissors and serging along the edge or zigzag stitch. Like I said earlier, it has been dark and rainy and so I'm finishing up the Ada Lounge set today and it has been enjoyable to be inspired by the moodiness that comes with the rain but i'm not gonna lie i am excited for this warmer weather Oh, yeah. 
muscles out of sand, reaching for the ground. As we'll always align, we lose track of time. Let up high, now we climb. Another day of rain reminds me that setting the tone and the atmosphere of wherever I'm sewing before I begin sewing is so important to me and I feel like it makes a huge difference. I'm the type of person that just really cares about the atmosphere, especially if it's like at a restaurant or my house. I feel like setting this tone can change my mood. It can change my outlook and give me inspiration of what I'm working on. So that's why I love the process of making tea and I love candles and diffusers and lighting. I think all of these things just play a factor into the process and to slowing down and easing your mind and getting focused. I made this Betty dress out of this silky seersucker fabric from Joanne and I love how light the fabric is which is perfect for the spring and the summer and I sewed this using French seams and I think it just took this up a notch and since the fabric is a little see-through I think having those French seams really made a difference in the end product. I love how this dress turned out. Thanks for letting me share about my spring wardrobe for myself. Now you can look at the spring wardrobe I made for my daughter by clicking this next video.